manual. I'll have to troubleshoot the toga later. Oh, it is in toga now. That's interesting. There's V1, rotate. Almost a tail strike. Not quite. Okay, autopilot. L nav. V nav. There's right girl appearance, yep. Bring that down. Okay, command A. And we're going direct to curve. There we go. Looks pretty good. 62 frames. I think we don't have as much lightning. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah, I, I hear the spool up now. For that sound, how 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 do you fix that? Maybe if you if someone could post on my Discord in the uh, P3D section how to fix that sudden wind up sound, that would be good. All right, let's do a status check on the plane. See how those lights come in a little bit delayed there. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and say we've been cleared up to four zero zero. Aircraft just got our weather just got updated. What's the frame counter? Uh, that is MSI afterburner. Yeah, MSI Afterburner, you can go in and do some settings in that and it'll display uh, the CPU temperature and the frame rate. Yeah, it's pretty handy. All right, we're at 9,000. I'm gonna turn off some landing lights. Altimeter changed a little bit. Right girl gave me a delivery. I don't know what it was. I, I watched your stream the other night and saw a Chewy sticker on the FO side. Yeah, there it is right there. Oh wait, it's not there anymore. It must be on certain liveries. It it was on the uh, it was on the Delta livery. So maybe UPS the UPS livery doesn't ha maybe it's only on passenger liveries. I don't know. Posted in P3D. Thank you, Limless. I appreciate that. All right, we're at twelve thousand. You can see the frame rate's pretty good. And my settings are much, much higher today than they were on the previous stream, so. So that's good. Yeah, I thought it was a cool Easter egg as well. Yeah. All right, let's do another giveaway. But this one, um, you're going to have to wait a while so to be present. So on this one, 
I'm gonna do ticket uh, ticket cost between. We'll lower this just a bit. Eight 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 eight. Um, start. Let's see here. Start new. Uh, and this one we won't give away until we are. I will say this giveaway will be. When we hit um, oh, we'll, we'll, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll give it away in uh, in 25 minutes. Start the timer. You, yeah, it's good for an X Plane Org Store gift certificate or Sim Market gift card, and it goes away in 25 minutes. Oh, look at the, oh, look at that. Wow. That almost looks um, like I'm on the beta atmospherics. Maybe I am. Huh. No. All right. I'll be right back in just a few minutes. Again, the giveaway, if someone could copy and paste those instructions for later consumption, will be given away in 23 minutes, 44 seconds. Be right back. I do have a problem with static electricity. I've noticed that when I'm using a uh, a two two PC stream setup, I've noticed that it um, when I touch things, I don't think I'm very well grounded here in the sim. And so when I shock something, that it cuts out for just a second, which is kind of interesting. See how those lights take a little while to populate in. Thank you for the follow. 
JJ Karam. Yeah, static electricity. Uh, snapshot, is that EA on or off? Uh, what's the EA? Oh, enhanced atmospherics. Uh, they're off right now, I think. Let me just double check. Graphics. Maybe they're on. I don't think, no. Let's see, where is that toggle? Enhanced atmospherics is off right now. Epic nobody, welcome. Should get a Gamer Nexus grounding bracelet. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Gamer's Nexus right there, baby. <laughs> Do you know what I learned last night? Well. Did you know I can't go topless on stream? Not that you wanted me to, but I learned that last night. Um... I do, I would like a mod mat as well, hanging with my nomies. <sighs> I would like a mod mat, but they're pricey. I decided, you know, as you guys, anyone who's paid attention to me in the last few months, you know I'm an AMD fanboy. Uh, I love AMD. I'm using an AMD right now. I'm getting 63 degrees Celsius. I'm not even water cooling. I'm not even all in one water cooling. I am air cooling my AMD overclocked and there it is 68 Celsius 66 68 63 uh, 65 frames um, but with that being said let me go ahead and hit standard pressure because I'm late on that um, with that being said I think I am going to build an Intel PC and I'm gonna try one of those 10th gen processors right they come out at the end of May. That looks pretty good there, those clouds. Uh, they come out, I think May, is it May 20th? I think they come out. And so I'm gonna do uh, what's called a Z490 motherboard and 10th gen Intel um, build. I think I'm gonna go with uh, an MSI board. That's the... Uh, I think it's the 490 Tomahawk. I think I'm going to go with the 490 Tomahawk, and then I think I'm going to get the i9-10900K processor. Um, I'm calculating that it's going to be about 520 bucks, maybe for that CPU, maybe. And then once I build that that new PC... Let's say sometime this you know early summer, uh, I will do some side by side comparisons on P3D uh, on Intel and then on you know V5 here particularly on Intel and AMD and X Plane on Intel and AMD. You think it's going to be disgusting for gaming, as in like disgusting, like good disgusting. <laughs> Are you looking forward to PGA Tour 2K21? Not really. Not really. I think that the 2K19 is fantastic, but once I hear that the 2K21 multiplayer works well, I'll do that. Yeah. I watch a robotic streamer with a grounded copper plate on his desk. He touches. Oh, okay. Otherwise, he's constantly zapping the stream equipment. Yeah. I didn't have the blank out problem before I when I was streaming on just one PC, but yeah. As in great. Yeah, I think the 10900 will do very well at gaming, but I'm not sure if there's going to be a gigantic difference between the AMD and the Intel. I have the AMD 3900X. You can type in exclamation specs in the chat right now and see my specs. The I don't think in simulation, though, we're going to see much of a difference, but I could be wrong. And look, look at that frame rate right there. <laughs> And you will have a good PC for MSFS. Can't wait to see your results. Yeah, it'll be very fascinating to see the difference. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go solid state drive, uh, two terabyte NVMe. I'll do 32 gigs of RAM, uh, like 3600 megahertz RAM, and then hopefully crossed fingers. Hopefully the What's today? 
in four days, count it guys, four days, NVIDIA is going to announce something new. Or a few things new. Hopefully it's a new gaming video card. They're hinting at it not being a gaming video card though. Some people are saying it it might be a workstation professional, you know, design CAD design type solution soft it could even be software. I, we don't know, but they're they're gonna have an announcement on the fourteenth of May. And I'm really hoping whatever their announcement is, I'm hoping that the twenty eighty TI prices go down. You just drink Moscow Mules and copper mugs anytime I'm on the computer. Problem solved. St. Wilfrick, there you go. I, I'm going to go ahead and, and admit this. I do not like Moscow Mules. Do not tell 757 Spy, but I, do not, I don't like Moscow Mules at all. Mm -mm. They're not for me. Nope, nope, nope. May is a good month. 27th is the first crewed flight test for SpaceX. Ooh, I like it. I may have missed something else in chat, so if you get... Uh-oh. Speaking of... Uh-oh. Oh, no. I didn't realize 757 Spy was lurking. I'm in trouble now. Yeah, he's a, he's a, you're a fan of the Moscow Mule, aren't you, Dave? <laughs> Good morning to you, sir. Would you mind sharing your NVIDIA settings? Okay. I haven't really changed much at all in NVIDIA settings. But yes, I will show you. I, in fact, I don't think I'm running what you should be running, to be honest. But uh, I'm running 2K. Oh, crap. I'm running 60 hertz. How? I should be running more than that, shouldn't I? Oh. I should be running 120 hertz. You're testing the TOLUS 319 update for today's spy flight. Nice. I heard it's working with Vulcan now. Uh, under 3D settings, the only thing that I think I have changed is the power management is prefer, right there, power management mode, prefer maximum performance. But I'll go through it one by one here. Um, we've got, yeah, I mean, Nothing's changed from the default here. Low latency mode is even, or sorry, low latency mode is on. Max frame rate off. Prefer, that's the only thing I changed. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Texture feel uh, off, allow quality. I mean, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, threaded optimization is on. Vertical sync is used 3D application. Triple buffering off. Now, nothing fancy. Yeah, we are doing a giveaway. There are how many minutes left in the giveaway? There's 12 minutes left in the giveaway. Right there, 12 minutes left before we do the, the next giveaway. We've already done one. We're going to do another one. North Cali Pilot, good morning. The... Uh, yeah, the 10900K should be amazing for gaming. Single core processing is what matter most. Yeah, you're right. It, yeah, I should be at 120 or 144. Yeah, I should be. I should be because I got a 144 hertz monitor. There's Brad's one ticket. <laughs> Brad, are you in front of your Discord? Can I ask you, if, can I interview you with three, three questions live? You may not be in front of your Discord or fancy dancy microphone. You might be out and about, who knows. You might be in the kitchen cooking, watching, watching the 7-4 on the iPad, I don't know. What is the ratio of snacks to tickets? The ratio of snacks to tickets, it's one to one. Yeah, one to one. Oh, you're on mobile? Okay. We should target uh, maybe later May for a, a, uh, an MJB show. Maybe. 
looks pretty good down there. Yeah, that looks pretty good down there. Uh, is there a good set up a second copy of X-Plane tutorial video? Um, are you on Steam? Uh, 757 Spy, are you on Steam? Uh, Nukos with the follow, thank you. Yeah. By the way, are any of you in the chat in the vicinity of the airport are within 100 miles of KRDU by chance? I have a question for you. KRDU. There's the JBM, BMJ, MJB emote. That is gorgeous. Doesn't hurt that it's 140 frames. The single core speed is what has me looking at the 3800X or 3900X. Well, the single core speed on the 3900X is not, it's not that fantastic compared to some of the other offerings. But if, like I do video, I do some video rendering and I do some video work and, it, and the AMD is much, much quicker to render my videos uh, after I edit them. But if you look at, I'll just show you one little graph here. If you look at single thread performance here, this is, but you know, Vulcan, I think Vulcan and DX12, aren't they supposed to kind of, I know they can do more GPU action, but Aren't they supposed to utilize some of those extra threads? But anyway, as you can see, single th this is single thread performance. AMD 3900 is... What's interesting is the 3900 Pro. I've never heard, I've not heard of that one. All right, anyway, here's the 3900X right here, right? So you get a, a score of 2725. And then look, even... An i3 9320 beats the 3900X in single th in single thread. So, so your i9s, your i7s, they're better. 8700K is even better in single thread. But I think over time you're going to see flight simulators take advantage of of multiple threads more and more and more extra cores. Yeah. After 12 threads, it just becomes redundant. Yeah. Yeah, but the uh, you know if you go to the if you go to the high end CPUs, I mean, look what overall look who's just AMD's right there. But if you look at the thirty nine hundred X, the price is four thirty one. There's not even another chip in this entire range that's be the lowest chip. Is another AMD at 719, but outside of that, look at the prices. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Anyway, I am gonna do an Intel build with, no, with the with the new 10th gen though. I think over time we're gonna see every everything taking advantage of extra threads. Yeah. Yep. In fact, I'm curious what P3D V5 is doing as far as utilizing threads. So if, let's go over to performance. All right, now I'm at four. I'm overclocked to four point up to. I think it'll boost up to four point three. It looks like I'm about four point two right now, and it looks like I am using CPU zero, CPU two. I think I am using. I I think I am using. Twelve cores, twenty-four logical processors. Oh, interesting. The only thing that I hate about Intel is uh, says hanging with my nomies is how they almost refuse to make their chips backward 
and forward compatible for more than a year or two. Yeah, so if you if you go with a 10th gen Intel chip, one of these new ones that come out at the end of May, you have to get a new motherboard. You have to get a Z490 motherboard. And you're right, they you, it's not backward compatible, so you can't take your i9 you know, even the same i9 processor, it's it's a it's a you know, it's a different it's a, it's a di- it's a different socket. I guess it's called what is it? LGA 1200, I think. Uh, you have to type in exclamation ticket and then, then a number, dinky D. Um, the X represents a number of snacks and how many snacks you can check by typing in exclamation S N A K. Um, let's see here. B C Z. 490. Now here's the motherboard that I'm going to get. No, that's the B450. Hold on. Yeah, MSI Mag. I think this is it. The MSI Mag Z490 Tomahawk. And there's that LGA 1200 socket. You got a couple M2 slots. DDR. Intel's been doing that for 20 years. Yeah, yep. And imagine what the prices of the Intel chips would be if we didn't have AMD. <laughs> Holy snack lips. 28 people in the drawing. Drawing is going to be drawn in, or closing in four minutes. Four minutes, four minutes. Anyway, that's I think this is the board I'm going with is the Tomahawk. It'll be it'll be quite uh, quite fascinating. All right, what's our top of descent here? It's far, far away, isn't it? 281 miles. Okay. Wilfinator, good morning. Uh, yeah, I don't know how far in the future the Z490 will go. You know, they're going to come out. Obviously, they're going to come out with 7 nanometer CPUs in the future for gaming. 7 nanometer. They're still not on 7 nanometer, I don't think. For gaming, so when they do that, will that be compatible with the twelve hundred socket? <laughs> History would maybe say maybe not. Spaceman twenty two ninety nine. It's a gift a gift certificate to either the org store or uh, Sim Market. Your choice. The maximum tickets is eight 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 eight. Yeah, eight 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 eight. Uh, Dinky D, are you in? Yes, you're in for fifty. Yeah, yeah, the the, the yeah, exactly. Aqua's got it right. In the brackets, fifty means you're in for fifty. Yep. Uh, less than a year for the Z490 next summer is Rocket Leg. <laughs> Rocket Lake. Yeah. Yeah. So you think it? You think the Z490 will last for two gens? And then Crazy Loca is saying less than a year for Z490, but Spaceman is saying that it'll be for two gens. Huh. We have a difference of opinion. Ed Force 5, how are you doing? Also updated the uh, the D Thrizeki Chicago airports and scenery from Seven Market. Yeah, I did the same thing. The DD airports, they were free for a day, weren't they? A lot of people picked those up. I updated uh, Chicago, Washington. I updated New York for V5 so I can fly now. In New York. My overlay needs adjusting. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that.
New York City. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, get a rope, right? Get a rope. <laughs> Fly 787, good morning. If you want to come in for uh, a little chitty chat on Discord, I'd, we'd love to uh, chat with you. LGA 1200 is for Comet Lake and Rocket Lake. After that, they'll be upgrading to LGA 7. They've already announced the next 1700. Why wouldn't they just go 1300? That's that's weird. Ticket clo raffle closing in three seconds. You do need to be present to win. Okay, right after I do this drawing, flies. I'll uh, I'm gonna jump on the Discord here. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Thank you. Okay, ticket raffle closed. 34 viewers have entered. A total of 15,993 tickets were entered into the drawing. Good luck to the winner. All right, here we go. Let's do this, dudes. Are you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one. Yes! Go! Yes! 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 Freedom! Two minutes to claim. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, here he is. <laughs> he claimed with uh, into th 39 seconds in. Talent with wings. Congratulations. Well done. Uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, as we always say, Discord message me uh, saying whether or not you want X-Plane Org Store gift certificate or Sim Market gift card and do a direct message on Discord. Cooking Mom's b Day Breakfast. Very nice. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start a new drawing. So we'll start a new drawing, and there we go, another giveaway. And this one, we will not probably, uh, we will probably not uh, draw this one until we, uh, until we're either on approach or landing. So there you go. And my name is Jack is the first one in, followed by Marhoog. Limless Dwarf is in. You do need to be present to win. I'm not drawing it for a while. Top of Descent is not until forever, so. Oh, there's a Snack Air Shameless promo. There you go. By the way, anytime that you use any of these gift cards, if you use the coupon code JOHNFLY, you pay twice the price. Sometimes three times the price. All right, let's open up Discord and see if Tom is here for a little chitty chat. You guys in chat, you have a question for a real world 787 pilot with a couple of decades, or three decades. Three decades of flying, I think, is what he said. Anyway, he flied. He he uh, flew for American Airlines a seven eight seven up until just recently. He retired. Probably misses it. Let's take him into the private room. Hello, sir. Oh, I gotta turn it up. Hold on. Oh, I gotta change the input here. Hold on. One second. <laughs> 